been almost two years since I reviewed uh, on Gun Blast this 475 line ball and a Ruger number one, which I really love it. Uh, this is a fine rifle. It's very lightweight compared to most number ones because just about all of the meat's been hogged out of this tube to make room for that big, nice, fat 475 bullet. Um, it'll take any 475 line ball or 480 Ruger loads. But what we're looking at here today is a new bullet developed especially for this rifle by Kelly Schlepp of Belt Mountain Enterprises. What he did in your standard, I'll show you this, your standard uh, 475 line ball seats like this because it's made for revolvers and the bullet when you get heavy like this is a 380 grain bullet takes up uh, a lot of case capacity in here. What Kelly has done, he has made the uh, made the bullet diameter where to ride the bore and it uses very little case capacity this way effectively giving you about another quarter inch of room in there for powder. Uh, more powder capacity means more velocity. Of course this is too long to use in a 475 line ball revolver but in these rifles like this or in the 475 Turnbull rifles this will work because um, you got very little of your case capacity is eat up uh, for your bullet. Now in these I've worked up some loads pushing uh, let's see, when I was uh, uh, developing the loads of this 370 and 380 grain bullets a couple of years ago, we get up uh, about 1,575 feet per second, I think, which is pretty nice. But this 400 grain bullet he has now, I can push it over 2,000 feet per second out of this same rifle, which gives me about another 500 feet per second with a bullet that weighs 30 grains more. Uh, and also, it's still got the huge flat me plat on the front of it. Uh, for deep penetration. If I was going up against anything like uh, anything dangerous, anything you needed bone smashing power, this is the bullet to use. It's got a leg core in it to give it more weight, but it's mostly turned on a lathe out of bronze. Real tough bullet. Um, anyway, we're going to try to catch one today. I shot through a huge log the other day and the bullet just it went on through and it might still be going. I don't know. Never caught that bullet. We're going to try to shoot through another log, catch that bullet, see what it looks like. But anyway, um, this using H110 powder, I was able to push this up to over 2,000 feet per second safely. Easy extraction, uh, no excessive case head expansion, uh, no excessive uh, pressure signs on the primer or anything. It just uh, it extracted real well. Recoil wasn't too bad because you're not burning a lot of powder, but you're pushing a lot of bullet. I was able uh, with uh, 40 grains of H110 to achieve over 2,000 feet per second. And that's not any published load data. Nobody's ever published anything like that. I just worked it up myself and you can get too much. I, I went a little faster and that pushed up about another 150 feet per second with that powder and it was unsafe. Back down to 40 grains it worked good in this rifle and your rifle may be different if you want to work up a load for it. Start at about 35 and work up from there because like I said I'm not a ballistician. I'm not a, I don't work in a laboratory or anything. I'm just trying to get all the velocity I can get out of this rifle with this fine bullet from Belt Mountain Enterprises. Extraction's easy. Primers look good. Everything looks good. No excessive pressure signs. It's a real good load using this 400 grain bullet uh, from Belt Mountain Enterprises. I'm going to try to catch one of these bullets. I shot through a log the other day and didn't catch it. Now I'm going to shoot through this 16 inch diameter uh, chunk of log. I've got a box of file, uh, file folders and stuff behind that. Belonged to my wife. Found it in the basement. Didn't look important to me. But anyway, we're going to see if that'll catch a bullet for us. Got it. Here's the bullet uh, dug out of that box of file folders. It shows uh, the rifle and the gauge on its driving band, and as Kelly told me, he expected this front band to bump up a little in the rifle, which it did. You can see that the rifle has contacted it. Other than that, th this bullet can be used over again. It's just uh, in perfect condition. Penetrated a huge amount of wood of the season. Went into that box of file folders a few inches. Uh, leg core is still in there. It's all still intact. It's just the, it's the best bullet I know of when uh, when it just has to penetrate and get to the good stuff going through bone, flesh, whatever you got. 
or in this case uh, some hardwood and some file folders. Anyway, it's a dandy bullet from Belt Mountain Enterprises. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.